So when I first tried to tell, um, I was about 19, 20, and until 1920, I didn't have any words. I didn't have the word sexual abuse. I didn't have the knowledge of such a thing existing in the world. I was never taught about sex or sexual abuse or sexuality in any way. And I told my sister, my older sister, that I remembered my father raping me. She said, it couldn't have happened. It didn't happen. You're making a mistake. At that point, two of my sisters came to my house with their husbands. And they said that unless I promised never to tell anyone that my father abused me, that they were going to cut me out of the family. And they told me that it was the decision of the Rev, of the family Rev. So I called him up and he said that my siblings had to choose between me and my father. They chose my father. And I said, why do they have to choose? Why can't they? It's a complex situation. They need to support their father and they need to support their sister. And he said, no, they have to choose. And anyway, I don't think you're credible. I don't believe you. And I also started thinking maybe I am crazy because every time I tried to get help and tell someone about it, they said it couldn't be, it wasn't true. It didn't happen. And they were there, so I figured they must know, right? It's my parents, it's my siblings. They, they kept saying, we were there, nothing happened. Did you ever doubt yourself? Oh, yes. And I wanted to, because I wanted to believe them. Believe what? I wanted to believe them that nothing happened. Who wants to believe that their father raped them? I'd rather believe anything else. I'd rather believe that I'm crazy. Moiserim. רביעי בתשע, ב-yes.co וב-yes.vod